Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Coming to you on a Monday night in my uh, blurry home office in New York City. I've got my Ukraine hat on, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Ukraine, but I'm going to talk more about a guy named Jared Leto. For those of you who may not know Jared Leto, I didn't really. I've heard his name, but he's a musician. He used to be or is lead singer for a band called 30 Second to Mars, and I think he's an actor. And the reason I'm talking about him is this past weekend, he was performing in Serbia. And um, a lot of you people who, who maybe follow Raw Travel have seen that I've been to Serbia. I had a really good time. I met a lot of really, really sweet people there. Uh, really do like Serbia. Unfortunately, there's a problem with Serbia right now. Uh, there's a lot of Russian sympathizers, a lot of Russian exiles uh, who escaped uh, from Russia to avoid the war that are living there. And uh, the, uh, the Serbian government uh, has at times been pro-Russian. So it's a bit of a problem. So Jared Leto is, is on stage in Serbia. And I guess, you know, he maybe was aware of this. He's like, hey, are there any Russians out there in the audience? And then, of course, all these young men who moved to Serbia to get away from uh, the war so they wouldn't have to, you know, die for Putin's mach war machine. Uh, we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, okay, man, cool. I could feel the Russian energy. I could really feel it. And he's like, you know, someday when these problems are over, uh, I'm going to go, can't wait to come to Moscow, St. Petersburg, maybe down to Kiev and, and, and play again. And so, you know, basically Jared Leto is referring to the misery that Ukraine is going through and has been going through for almost three years now, three years now from Russia, the bombings, the uh, civilians getting killed, uh, just the, the horror and the terror as problems. And, you know, Jared, man, I would just like to say, if you, if you want to experience some Russian energy, there's no reason to wait until these problems go away. You should go experience Russian energy right now. You can go to Ukraine and get your dose of Russian energy on a nightly basis. There are drones flying overhead threatening to bomb civilian uh, apartments and infrastructure all the time. There are blackouts. There are glide bombs. There are mortars. There are devastated cities that you can go tour. And then you will see firsthand this Russian energy. And if that's not enough for you, you could go visit some orphanages and maybe play music for them. because, uh, And then you can explain to all these kids the how the Russian energy is the reason that they don't have parents anymore. Or when you see somebody hobbling across the street because their limbs have been blown off by some of the mines that have been planted in 30% of Ukraine by Russia, uh, you can explain to them, that's just Russian energy, man. Eat it up. Feel it. Feel it. Go ahead and feel it. If you still don't get enough Russian energy, then you can go behind uh, enemy lines. You can go to the 20% of Ukraine that Russia illegally controls and where we know there are war crimes going on right now. How do we know that? Well, we know about Bucha, where they murdered civilians, old and young, point blank range. Uh, you can go visit the Dead Car Monument at Irpin. That way you can see the cars of the people, the civilians, the regular Ukrainians who are just trying to escape a war zone when all that Russian energy just killed them in their tracks. You can go see that. And if that's not enough Russian energy for you, then maybe you can just go to Russia. And if you go to Russia, can you do us a favor and report back maybe and bring back some of those Ukrainian kids, the 30 to 50,000 Ukrainian kids that have been kidnapped and forced to re-education camps in Russia. Maybe you can bring them back to their Ukrainian relatives. Jared, man, there are so many plethora of better ways for you to feel Russian energy without getting up on stage and saying something completely and utterly moronic and stupid that it just serves as a soundbite for Vladimir Putin and his war machine. Dude, if you want to feel Russian energy, let me know. We'll hook you up. Otherwise, shut up and just play music, dude.